Welcome to our evolution lesson. I guess we're going to be checking the most common things on the water start and riding the body position. So here's your water start and the main thing is you're pressing too much on the back trying to lift the front board. This makes you stop. You're going very vertical on the board and the board flat, meaning you're not really edging and creating and going upwind with it. See, your weight is completely to the back and breaking is what I'm trying to demonstrate here. Watch the comparison. And once you start edging, the board gets completely locked. Your front leg gets stretched and the back leg bent. And your weight is against the direction of the lines and not against the direction where you're going with the board flat. You can see here both at the same time. Your back knee should be more into the center of the board to help you to press. So when you're riding, you can see one is completely inclined and you're going more or less on top of the board uh, on a flat way. See, I'm riding completely leaning away from the, the lines and you're going completely vertical with and trying to break your speed by pressing on your back leg, which just breaks your, your velocity completely, making you stop. Here, for a moment, you, you catch the correct rail, but you can see here your board is not inclined. You're completely uh, on the board, so making it stop again. Same thing here. The arm position is good because you have them in the center, but you need to lean away from the bar and uh, press more on your heels to make the board go upwind. And instead of pointing to the other side, you should point more up. That's why when you want it to break now, you started sliding and, and didn't manage to maintain control of the board. You can see the guy on the far end stopping, how he is, completely inclined. While here you're going completely downwind by not edging. You can see the guy behind you completely edging and the direction he's going and the direction you are taking. And here you have the same. So you start and you're going to the direction of the kite, the direction of the wind instead of going upwind. And here you start going slightly upwind and a little bit better. If you keep the kite a little bit lower, it also helps you to incline more. In this case, you couldn't because you had another person coming. You just kept it higher and then you stop. See, completely vertical, making you go downwind. In this case, the intention was to go downwind, but even your back is completely forward. Instead of being more away, your arms more stretched but I think you see the, the main points on, uh, on the riding position. Hope this helps you, keep going.